Oh, yeah. See, we plan ahead. That way we don't do anything right now. Earl, explain it to me. So, you guys are both, like, uh, we're talking about space sci-fi horror. You both video gamers. You like your dead space and, like, alien isolations and whatnot? I do. Yes. Well, then I got something fun for you that I, I was today when I found out about some of these. Now, some of you might remember the name Supermassive Games. They are the company that was behind the uh, Until Dawn and oh, other yes. horror games. They are developing Directive 8020, which oh. is supposed to be another one of those kind of style games. So a bunch of, I know, quick time events. As long as the story is good, it should be fun. This one is actually going to be set uh, in a bit of a futuristic Earth where Earth is dying and humanity is running out of time. 12 years from home. Uh, Tau Seti offers a small sliver of hope when the colony ship Cassiopeia crash lands on the planet. Its crew soon realizes they are far from being alone. Uh, yes, please. I like stories like this. Hopefully the game is actually fun, but it is being due, set to come out next year, 2025. And uh, an immersive cinematic horror experience. I'm pretty game for this. I thought this was actually a trailer, so I'm going to see if I can click to get that to go. And if not, then screw them. <laughs> uh, let's hit news here. I know, we professionals here. Yeah. Hmm. I thought there was something here, though. Or it doesn't want to work, and that's <laughs> okay. <laughs> but they're, they're at least using Unreal Engine 5, which I'm pretty okay with. So, And, uh, Fight for survival, space horror. What do you guys think about that? I'm, I'm down. I, I like intrigued. that sort of thing. Uh, Until Dawn was a lot of fun. Yeah, I really. Now I started to play the Quarry. I did not get much beyond like the first hour. Ted Raimi is like fucking creepy as shit, so I'm totally down to play the rest of it. I just got distracted by like Stellar Blade and some other games, but I'll get. I'll be getting back to that soon. Oh, I need to go look for that. I haven't played that one. Um, I think I might still. I also need to like replay until dawn and try to make it so everybody lives. I accidentally killed the blonde chick. Oh, you did? She she had HPB anyway. <laughs> That's your answer to everything. She had. HPB. She would have spread that shit so around. God, I remember uh, one Thanksgiving of uh, my uh, youngest niece playing that and going out of her way to make sure everybody died. <laughs> <laughs> because that's Shell and that's the way she plays. I almost had that platinum trophy. I was like, fuck, fuck, I let the bitch die. <laughs> you stupid bitch. Should have ran. Run, bitch, run. Run! Run, Forrest, run! Well, speaking of running, there is another space-based sci-fi horror game coming out. Uh, this one is from 333 Studios. And uh, they're putting out one called Retrieval. And this one does have a trailer. And it came out at Gamescon not too long ago. Didn't actually see this on a buddy stream of mine. I actually was today when I saw this. And I wanted to play that for my buddies here. So let's get going. That sometimes things don't go as planned. And sometimes... Run, bitch! Digging. <laughs> searching for answers we should have never asked. I'm not even supposed to be here today. clawing at the surface like worms, begging. That's just why you don't want to take the subway. Ooh. Of understanding. Ouch. Push what we don't know. That's a flesh wound. She'll be fine. She'll be <laughs> Grab a band aid. There's nothing we can do. <laughs> There is no 
well. The truth. Hmm. Yes, please. Yep. Cool. I am intrigued. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I am very much interested in this one. Definitely a, a little more on the horror side. Definitely with some alien combat. Uh, I'm hoping. Now, this is all largely cinematics. I'm hoping this is a third person style game. I do not want another first person fucking game. I want this to be a little more like Returnal, but a little more kind of dead space, dead space and scope. That's more what I'm looking for. Um, I even like say like Callisto Protocol. Um, I'm definitely getting some vibes from that out of this. So I am actually really excited to check this one out. I don't know when it's due out, but it did say like 2025. So they are expecting to uh, the chilling secrets of Rehalian, if I'm saying that right. So we're on another planet, everybody. We're going to go more space sci-fi horror. So let's go. I'm down. It looks fun. Yeah. Let's see a trailer I could show you guys on this one. The uh, I'm waiting for a decent trailer to show you guys. There's an alien VR game coming out for the PSVR 2. Oh, I thought I heard about that. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't come out until December, but I'm super excited for it. I think one of these two games I showed you was being set for uh, VR as well. I think it was the other one. The one from Super Massive. I think on Destructive 8020. Well, let's take back a look at that. One of these was due to have some sort of VR influence on it. I, I don't see that on the other article here, though. I still need to get Resident Evil 4. Ooh, there you go. That's, That's for VR, I mean. I've got the other one. Thank you for watching this clip from our Dead Wire live streams every Saturday night at 9 p.m. Pacific time. Did you like this clip? If so, please make sure you hit that like button, share, and subscribe to this video. Stay tuned to all of our video content. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.